what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts we are here today for the final two episodes of sons of anarchy i am finally ready to do a review of the series and i've decided to do these two episodes together hopefully hopefully you guys are ready okay hopefully you guys are ready for these two final episodes of son of agony i know you guys have been waiting for a long time for me to get here so you can finally leave my channel <laughs> i know some people is going to dip after you know i've been accused of so many different things while watching this show it's utterly ridiculous <laughs> you know but it is what it is we're finally here with the two final episodes i don't know if they're going to be as long as episode 10 and 11 but we are here nonetheless so without no further ado we're going to jump in because we have a long review to do talking about the entire series and what it what is what what it was about what the experience was like for me and of course we're gonna hitch on my three things that i used to review every series on my channel of course we're going to talk about the story we're going to talk about the audio the visuals and we're going to talk about rewatchability so of course let's jump in if you guys don't know by now if you have not subscribed by now i don't know what you're waiting on so uh, at this point it's, it's like it's it's either you're gonna bounce after this or you're gonna stick around to see what i do next you know if you guys are interested in tv shows we are watching the sopranos right now if you want to if if you want to jump on that i will be starting a new tv show after this of course i don't know what it's going to be yet but we will see you don't have to leave suggestions you can if you want to it's probably not going to be what you what you suggest because i have a long list of shows to do there's not many tv shows actually that you know that is in the works i am watching two tv shows right now which is nirvana in fire and the sopranos so i don't know if i'm going to tack on another tv show to that but we will see how things go i'll probably do actually talking about that um i probably won't i'll probably finish um westworld first because there's only one season of that for me to do so i'll probably finish up westworld and then i'll probably choose another show so yes i still have westworld to get back to so in any case guys i know i know stop complaining let's just jump into the episodes and i will see you guys for the review <laughs> i am tacking this on i'm tacking this on to the back end of my intro i just want you guys to know the um the youtube version we're not gonna do a youtube version for this so go to the reaction in the link okay so it, i'm pretty sure that none of y'all actually watch this on youtube anyways because there's there's really no sound on the cut up versions really so go to the link watch the reaction come back and watch my review like how we used to do it before so same thing just come go watch the reaction um the link is down in the description come back here and watch the review it's a very long review it's about 40 minutes that i spent talking about this series and what it meant for me um you know and what i believe it was about and what you know what it was trying to portray that it's just my opinion that's all i can give my opinion okay guys i'll see you guys for the review <sighs> i guess this is becoming a bit of a theme for me to to be crying at the end of series that I watch, especially the long, the longer ones. You guys have to accept it. I guess you guys just 
choose to just suggest shows that you know is super emotional at the end. All right. Yeah. We're here. I don't even know if I'm going to completely be able to do this review now. Right after. But I'm going to try my best to do this. All right. Sons of Anarchy. Uh, I don't know how to describe this story. As I said, I tried my best to, you know, write down some points as I have my phone here. Um, I tried my best to write down some pointers of the things I wanted to talk about this the series itself and very poetic ending very poetic ending they did a very good job of telling something linear and circular at the same time i think i talked about this in the earlier ep in the in episode 12 I did touch on it a little bit. They did a very good job of telling a very straightforward story and also making it something of a, of a circular storytelling, right? So they did both, which is really good. And Tommy, you, uh, somebody can write a story like that. It means that you know what you're doing. The writers for the show really really um showed the that you can write a long series you know what i'm saying something that goes for six seven uh, um six seven seasons you know and still make sense still make sense at the end you know i wish i wish i wish that Game of Thrones had a really good ending. You know, I, I really wish it did, but it didn't. And majority speaks. We all know that season eight of Game of Thrones was 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 utter garbage. Special effects galore, which is something that you basically become desensitized to in the series. You get what I'm saying? You become it doesn't mean as much in season eight as it did in, say, midway through season four, season five. It just didn't mean the same. So hitting us with a bunch of special effects. We all know season eight was going to look good. But the storytelling, nothing. What happened to all the prophecies? You know, I don't want to get into that. Let's talk about Sons of Anarchy on how they told this story how comprehensive it was and how good this series was like my tears do not flow for foolishness if i if i don't enjoy what i'm watching if i don't feel a connection to the characters if if those things don't happen you're not going to get tears from me if those things those things are not happening um i have been sleeping on a lot of tv shows or at least st stuff that you guys have suggested. So far, I would say, I think, let me see. For all the TV shows that I've watched, Walking Dead is not done yet. I don't think I'm going to cry at the end of The Walking Dead. Let's just be honest. Um, you know, I don't think I'm going to cry. Like, if, 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 if it was something involving maybe Rick... At the end of The Walking Dead, which we all know he's still alive and whatever. Right? If I don't think I'm going to cry at the end of that. But I would say, we're talking about Vikings. I didn't cry at the end of Vikings, but I did cry during certain episodes of Vikings. Um, but so far pretty much 
when it comes on to TV shows on the channel, when I've finished watching them, like at the end, I've always teared up because these shows, they really do do a good job of telling a good story. Well, Vikings didn't end as well as I expected it to end, but to each his own. Let's just say that the to each his own. Um, I'm thinking my thoughts before I get into the meat of the review. So just bear with me here. I told you guys that this was going to be a long one. That's why I'm probably not going to post. That's why I'm not probably not going to cut up this version of this, this reaction. I'll probably just post the full reactions. Um, and you guys just can go, go to the link. You can skip through it if you want. If you don't want to spend three hours watching the episode again. Um, it is what it is. But I'm going to take my time with this review and just give my thoughts. You know, they did a very good job of telling this story, man. And the connection that I felt with Jax, I felt like I felt like Jax was my lost brother. You know what I'm saying? Like a brother that I've lost, you know what I'm saying, to the to criminal activity. Like, that's how I felt, you know, the relationship that I felt like I had with him. That's how immersed I was in the story. Like, I felt like he was someone I was trying to redeem myself or talk to him to get out of this life. And, you know, we, we, we were on the cusp. We, we were right there. And then Tara dies. You know what I mean? Season 7 was a ride in itself. It was a ride just seeing all of this stuff just spiral out of control. It was a ride, man. And they did an excellent job. They had from episode 10 to 13, it was all like mini movies. You know what I'm saying? An hour and 20 minutes for practically all the episodes. An hour and 10 minutes, I believe, on average. For every, for every one of these last four episodes. And it was needed. It was needed. You know. It was definitely needed. For them to really wrap up everything. In that space. And I'm glad that FX. Gave them the opportunity to do that. Gave them the time slot and everything. To actually. You know. And. A, a, and what I can imagine. A very beloved series at the time it was airing. Right. So, and that is needed. If a show is is on, you know, for a long time, it deserves, you know, if they need the time to, you know, they'll be like, we can't just cut up, cut off all of these important things, all of these storylines and stuff like that. We got to make sure everything is wrapped up in a nice bow for the audience and i love when shows do that i love when networks give the the show the writers the producers and everybody the time to make peace you get what i'm saying with what with their creation make peace with it it'd be like you know what i'm saying i can imagine it must have been a very emotional day when they when they wrapped because i did see the video when opie left the show when opie left the show and ryan hurst left the show um, I did see the video of them cutting his beard off and stuff like that. It was a very emotional video. Um, so I can imagine the day they wrapped. It must have been a very emotional day for everybody that has been with the show from the start. I can imagine. You know what I'm saying? It must have been. Maybe there's a video of that out there as well. If there is, send me the link. I want to see it. I'm not going to react to it, but send me the link. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get into the meat and potatoes. I've talked for 10 minutes. I've calmed down. The tears have stopped flowing. So let's get into the meat of potatoes of Sons of Anarchy, the series, right? Sons of Anarchy, the series. You guys know what we do over here when we review a series. We look at three things. Um... We look at rewatchability, we take a look at the story, and we also take a look at the audio and the visual, okay? Um, 
we're going to take a look at rewatchability first, right? Rewatchability for this series is very high for me. It's very high. I'm going to say there's a 10 out of 10 chance that I would rewatch this series, mainly because of just the storytelling was that great. I think I would definitely um, go out and watch this. I would definitely go back and watch this maybe, um, I don't know, three or four years from now. I might sit down and rewatch all seven seasons again. You know what I'm saying? Because it's that good. It's kind of like Breaking Bad for me. Every now and then I go back and watch Breaking Bad, whether it's somebody else reacting to it that I'm watching or just on my own. I just pick it up, watch it. If some, if, if I get that itch, be like, oh, I want to watch Breaking Bad again just to remember some of the details. You know what I'm saying? Um, so... I think Sons of Anarchy is definitely going to be one of those shows for me. And I don't say that for a lot of shows. I don't say that for a lot of anime either. Like, rewatchability is something that I know that Sons of Anarchy is probably something I would pick up two or three years from now and watch again. So, rewatchability is definitely high for me. And I think that's because of how they told the story. This is definitely one of those stories that you can probably analyze and break down on what the writers were doing because they did such an excellent job with it. I think it's one of those shows. You know what I mean? So, rewatchability is out of the way. You know where that ranks on my list. If you feel the same way, let me know in the comment section. Let's talk about the audio and the visuals. Now, they did a great job with sound design, the score, the, the songs that they, you know, bought the rights to to play during it very country very fitting you know what i'm saying even though technically this is not in the south at all <laughs> you know what i'm saying like this like they played a lot of country music a lot of rock music i'm not saying that that stuff is only for the south or whatever that's not what i'm trying to say it's just that usually you know what i'm saying usually when you're watching certain shows and stuff like that um you're not going to, it's usually fitting to where, you know what I'm saying, where the, the, the setting is. Like, this was in California. So, I'm not expecting a lot of country music to be playing. But it fits. You get what I'm saying? So, they did an excellent choice in that. It fits. Um, a lot of the songs I knew, some of them is first time I'm hearing them. I, I think... Even Gemma did a rendition, um, the, the, um, the actress that plays Gemma did a rendition of some song. I don't know if she wrote it or whatever, but I was informed of that through comments as well, that Gemma was the one that was singing a certain song, one of the songs, and that was pretty cool to know. So the audio, they did an excellent choice with when they played. It killed me with, with th this season, though, because... I will I started to cut up videos so it kind of killed me because I couldn't I couldn't really use the audio that much um, in the video if you go and watch my cut up versions of my reactions if you don't that's fine but if you do go you'll see that the audio is turned way down because even the dialect even the dialogue in the show was being is copyrighted which is weird so it has to be really low most of the time right sometimes you know, I could turn up the audio for certain dialogue, but for but for some of them, it still got claimed. The audio, the dialogue still got claimed, not just the music that's playing in, the, in it. But we got through it. Needless to say, that's one of the reasons why I chose to not upload this, because it's like going through three hours of, of footage to cut out all those times where important parts where they were showing certain monologues and stuff like that while music was played in the background. Even the, the last, like, probably, like, five minutes of episode 13, it was just this dude singing a song. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't want to cut out, cut out all of that or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it it's... Just go watch the video on the link and don't complain about cut-up versions. <laughs> okay? Anyways... So, the visuals, 
excellent job camera work was on fire for this series they did a very good job of not taking you out of certain scenes as in what is going on here the camera shots were perfect they did they just they did an excellent job with audio visual that's a 10 out of 10 for me to, to just to be honest like for everything that they showed the tons of people's you know i i, I think it was like a couple of episodes ago when they killed um uh, mark's henchman or whatever his eyes was popping out of his head and stuff like that like stuff like that you got to give them credit for even showing on screen you know what i'm saying um, for going the distance to actually do that kind of makeup to 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 actually portray that because of them killing Bobby and what they did to Bobby taking out his eye and stuff like that cutting off his fingers like stuff like that even though you know you know it's gruesome it's still necessary to show that that's what happened and it's necessary to show it you know what I'm saying so I give them props for for showing to go in the extra mile to showing that stuff because they could have just off screen it and then showed him, you know what I'm saying, with blacked off eye or, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it could have been that way, which I don't like when series do that because it, because it's just like you just got to use your head to see what happened to to figure out. OK, I guess he took out his eye. I like seeing it. Show it. It looks more real. You get what I'm saying? I like that. So 10 out of 10 for me with the audio visual. Excellent job there. They did not pull any punches when it comes on to showing what needs to be seen. So even with the, you know, when Tara died, when Gemma was killing Tara and she's using the, 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 um, the, ki the cooking fork to stab her in the head. That was, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though you don't want to see it, you want to see it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, all right. We're going to get down to now to the story, which is going to be a long session. So if you're not here for 40 minutes of review, you might want to not listen to this part. But this is the most important part of my review, and I want to talk about it. So you heard me talk about it a little bit during you know during the episodes if you've watched the reactions already if you have not watched the reactions go back and watch damn reactions then come watch the review okay the the thing is i had some notes ready and i said depending on what happens in these last two episodes this is how i'm going to approach the review for the story so some things happen that i did not expect to happen as some did. So, I didn't think that Gemma was going to die. So, that changes a lot for me with my review. I didn't think Gemma was going to... I think Gem, I thought Gemma was going to survive the series. You guys have heard me say that multiple times. I think Gemma is probably going to be the only one. That's what I predicted. That didn't turn out to be true. So, I thought Gemma was going to survive the series. I thought she was probably going to be the only one. I did say that I think that Jax is going to die by the end of the series. Um, he went out in a totally different way than I expected, of course, but that stayed to be true. From the way how the story was being written and stuff like that, my conclusion to this whole thing of this whole series and what this series is about, it's about consequences. Right? It was either going to be redemption or consequences. Having the thing about it is this. You know, we we watch stuff like this. We watch stuff like this and we don't understand that they are people <laughs> that live this kind of life. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't completely get it because in some uncertain ways, if it kind of seems like we are living in a bubble, you know what I'm saying? And they're living in the real world. You get what I'm trying to say? So, but that's not the case. We're all living in the same world. It's just that because we're not exposed to certain things, we know it happens, 
But you know what I'm saying? Like we, the regular people, the people who aren't criminals, you know what I'm saying? Who aren't living a day-to-day life of looking over their shoulders and stuff like that. Like we live in this complete ignorance of this stuff happening. If it, if, if it's not something that happens around us, you get what I'm saying? So the moral of the story consequences versus you know what i'm saying consequence versus redemption you get what i'm saying so both can row in the same boat both <laughs> both can row both can row in the same boat okay this is a bit of a tongue twister but we got there <laughs> but at the same time one has to go you get what I'm saying? One has to go. It's either you're going to accept the consequences for your actions or you work towards redemption. You get what I'm trying to say? It can't be both. And in most cases, in most cases, consequences are always played out. Are always played out. You don't always get to go on the road to redemption because... Simple things, a lie, perhaps, right? A lie could turn you off the road of redemption. For six seasons, we watch Jax, the main character, go through this road of redemption, of redeeming the club, of getting out of the the the, the, binac- the binoculars. What am I saying? The scope. <laughs> getting out of the scope of the police, getting their club out of all of this bad stuff that keeps happening the killing the um the drugs the guns all of this stuff that just keeps adding up adding up adding up for six seasons we watch this character trying to get out of this life trying to be a better dad for his son trying to be a better husband to to his wife all of this stuff and then tara dies and then Gemma lies, right? And he just spirals completely out of control because of the lie, because of revenge. You know, now the question is, what if Gemma had told him the, the truth from the get-go? What if? What if? We, we, we can talk about that, right? Let me take this off. Right. We can talk about that. What if he had what if she had told him the truth? Would it would it have changed her? Would it have changed his decision? Let's just say he told her she told him the truth and he killed her anyways. Would he have continued on this road of redemption or would he still would it have been a better story for you guys? Let me know in the comment section if that had happened. And then, you know, for, for the seven seasons, we're just basically watching him just seeing the consequences of killing his mom and just going out of control. Because either way, I think he would have spiraled. That's the thing. Either way, if she lied, if she told the truth, my opinion is is that he still would have spiraled because it would have affected him. Would he have killed himself? Would he have not been in control of the club? Would he have been making terrible decisions? I think all of those things would, would have still ended up happening if Gemma had told him the truth. You get what I'm saying? I, I don't think there's... There's other ways that the story could have went, but the most impactful way and the most... The realest way they could have told a story... Even if they went in that direction where Gemma told him the truth and, you know what I'm saying, and he ends up killing Gemma anyways. He still would have spiraled. Maybe the Chinese will still be in play, of course, and maybe they would have never found Juice. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he would have still spiraled out of control. That's just my opinion, right? On that hypothesis, (laughs) right? So, 
when it comes on to the story of Sons of Anarchy, what I expected is what took place. What I expected. Not necessarily the ending, but for the most part of what we were seeing in Season 7 is kind of what I expected to happen at the end. Now, Gemma was the only kind of thing that that I expected Jews to die like that didn't surprise me Gemma's death really surprised me you guys want to go back and see my face in that scene I, I I didn't want him to do it I still don't want him to do it but he did it anyways I, I, I you know what I'm saying I didn't even know what to say during that scene because I was just like you can't do this dude like this is your mom's I think maybe if he didn't do this he probably would have never ended up killing himself because, but then again, he had to die because, <sighs> bro, either way, <laughs> either way, it seems like this was going to be the outcome for Jax. Either way, you know what I'm saying? Because he had to make a lot of things right. Before he died, he had to kill Marx. He had to kill Borowski. He had he had to go and do all these things because he knows that he was about to go out either by his club or either by him killing himself. I think it was my relief. That they didn't kill him. You know what I'm saying? That's what really broke me. During that scene. As I'm tearing up again. It was just a relief. Because I thought that they were going to kill him in that scene. I was like. Oh my god. They, they didn't do it. Is he going to survive the series? Because, as I said, I felt... I don't know why I get this much immersed into what I watch. And, you know, some people can... Like, I know that this is not something that's going to stay with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to get up tomorrow morning crying about Jax's death. They're still just fictional characters. But during the show... And watching the show, you you get so immersed into these worlds that you watch. You feel so connected with the characters. They become like family members to you. You know, they become very relatable. Even though I've never lived that kind of life, I've never been involved in anything like that. I completely understand. You know what I'm saying? I understand what it takes what kind of life that person has to live. How scary it is. You know. You can. You you might not be in the moment. You don't have to. Be a criminal. To know that it's. A terrible kind of life to live. The gravitude of it. You know what I'm saying. You don't have to. So don't be don't be one of those people that be like, oh, you don't know what it's like, man. You don't know what it's like. No, I don't know, but I can imagine. I can imagine what it's like. I can, you know, have some basic understanding of what it would be like to live like that. You know what I mean? We can't all be Pablo Escobars out here. And see, consequences still ended up coming for his ass. Because he got too big for his britches. And that's just what I'm saying. I got emotional because of that. Because I really thought, I, re I really, it got me. <laughs> the whole time, like probably about the second, like probably about 20 minutes into the episode, like I already knew. And you guys might have heard me say, I'm fighting back the tears because I'm just like I know this guy is just he's just walking straight into death and I can't help but think like when you know when you know you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying 
And then we have this lady that's been around, this homeless lady. That's just been around for however long. This entire time. From season one, we've been seeing her. And it just goes to show you that's another element of the storytelling that's just brilliant. Because this entire time I was wondering, who the hell is this woman? She just pops up. And if you notice, every time somebody sees this woman, if you go back and you check, everybody that has ever seen this homeless woman, they die. She is, she represents the angel of death in the series. And you heard me say that before it was basically revealed at, in, in, in the final episode. She represents the angel of death. I was like, because you guys hear, must have heard me ask multiple times every time I said, I was like, what does this homeless woman represent? And I didn't really pick up on it until I went back and I watched the episodes with her in it. And I was like, everybody that, um, everybody, <laughs> everybody that has met this woman or even seen her has died. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing she said the entire series, it's time to Jax. So that's, it's poetic. It was done well. You know what I mean? And she basically represents the Reaper, you know? So that was done very well. Really like that element of it. I'm taking deep breaths because I want to touch on everything. I don't really talk. I don't really want to talk about individual characters in the show. I believe everybody came in. They did their job and they did it well. There was no actors that was in this show that I was like, you didn't deserve to be in this show. Like everybody down to rat. Everybody did their job. Everybody that was in the show was excellent. Excellent. Everybody that was a part of the show. They were excellent, excellent actors and actresses coming from Clay, Unser, Gemma, Tara, Opie. Uh, I mean, I could go on and on. Bobby, Chibs, Tig, all of them. Juice, everybody was excellent in every scene that they were in. I had zero problems with anybody in the show that had even just one episode that they were in. Everybody did their job. Um... Hail, I mean, e everybody that was involved was just excellent. The cast was just out of this world great. You know what I'm saying? Out of this world great. You know, stalled. She did her job. She was great, even though I hated her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, man, she was annoying, but excellent actress nonetheless. She was there for you to hate, you know, so just great stuff overall. Um, the story was just, it was just awesome, man. From start to finish, it was great. I know a lot of people is going to say, oh, is it that you didn't enjoy the series? Why you wasn't doing it consistently in season seven and blah, blah, blah. Maybe, listen, man, listen, it wasn't that. It wasn't any of that. And first of all, I'm going to watch the shows when I can watch them or when I feel like watching them. So if you can't wait around for the reactions to come out, because the thing about it is this. You know what I'm saying? Like, even even with me recording this review right now and just watching the episodes, you guys have probably been waiting a week for it to come out because I'm just about to take, you know, some time off from from reacting and really uploading to the channel, even though stuff is probably still going to be, you know, out, be out on the channel. It's probably stuff that you guys are not going to watch, but it's whatever. You got to be patient. You know, you just have to be, you just have to be patient because this is what I, this is what I'm choosing to do. Right? So if you can't wait on the episodes to come out, if you can't wait on the episodes to come out, then that's just too bad. You know what I'm saying? 
but I'm not going to, you know, what, what I'm not going to do is rush, especially because you guys did not know that even between episodes 10 and 11 and 12 and 13, I had to go back before I watched the two last episodes. I went back and I looked at some certain things and I took some notes on what I wanted to point out and what I wanted to to touch on and the things that I wanted to talk about and what I think this series represents and what it's trying to teach us and stuff like that through the storytelling and all of that stuff, right? I really wanted to do that. So hope you guys appreciate it. Hope you guys, I enjoyed this journey very much. So this story really, it's just the, the, the nobody gets redeemed, man. Nobody gets redeemed. The Sons of Anarchy are they're still gonna be doing their thing. I I I um for me I would have told them to get out of all of this. That's what I would have told them. If I was Jax, I would have been like, figure out a way to get out of this, man. But I guess they've just accepted their fate as in the only way we're getting out of this is is, is a body bag. You know what I mean? Like, I think they've just accepted that. Like, the only way we're getting out of this life is a body bag. It's never going to be some amicable thing where we just go, you know. It's tough. It's it's tough. It's tough. You know, and I try to do my reviews, you know, off the cuff with very minimum bullet points and just try to do it off the top of my head you know it was just it, it was just a brilliant show i can't give sons of anarchy nothing less than a 10 out of 10 and i know probably some people are not probably not going to agree that sons of anarchy is a 10 out of 10 show but based on my standards my subjective opinion i think sons of anarchy was a 10 out of 10 show and it's not because I cried at the end. It ain't even about that. It ain't even about that. It's just when I look at everything in its complete form. You know what I'm saying? In its complete form of what the story was trying to tell us. How the story was told. You know. What they did during that story. How it impacted um, me. How I believe it imp impacted everybody else. I believe that this story is definitely a 10 out of 10. They did their damn thing. Like I can't, I can't find anything that I could say that was wrong completely with the storytelling. I had a little bit of issue with, you know, what they were doing with Abel, you know, during um, this season. But that's not enough for me to take a point away or a half a point away or anything like that because even though I felt like it was convenient you know when he was finding out you know he, he just happens to be there when Gemma is confessing this stuff twice like I felt like it was too convenient it's not enough for me to be like oh it, it you know it could absolutely not happen you know what I'm saying it wasn't a situation where where I was like that's you know it's an absolute where i would be like that would never happen ever it is a possibility it just felt convenient for the story you know what i'm saying so 10 out of 10 series man sons of anarchy for sure for sure in my opinion was a 10 out of 10 series and that is all i have to say so that is my review hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you have a difference in opinion for me, please let it be known in the comment section. It was, an, it was a very good journey. I enjoyed it very much from start to finish. The, 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 the okie dokes, you know what I'm saying? Everything was just structured perfectly for this series. The, the way how they told the story. That is all I have to say. Make sure you like the video, and I hopefully you guys stay stay around for another series. If you have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section. As I said, it might be a while before I get to them, but if you have any more suggestions, you can always leave them in the comment section. 
Let me know what you think. If it's something similar that I have not watched yet, and you know I haven't watched yet, put it in the comment section. See boy terabyte reacts. I'm out. Peace.